OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear in hospital. We need a drip. Somebody get me Michael Gove! <laughs> Now, the good news is your blood results have come back clear. Uh, the bad news is blood shouldn't be clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, yay! £350 million! Pounds. Great news, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Time of death, Pim's o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Look. If you squeeze his drip really hard, <laughs> he gets an erection. <laughs> I'm a junior doctor and I get paid enough. <laughs> <laughs> Erectile dysfunction, you say? Um, does it hurt when I do this? And does it feel amazing when I do this? <laughs> You have pneumonia. Would you like to keep that or gamble for the big prize? Ah, <laughs> uh, I remember when my dick looked that young. <laughs> <laughs> I am the leading gynaecologist in this hospital. I work in the cafe, but I'm a bit of a legend. <laughs> uh. Would anybody like a hand? I've just found a hand. <laughs> You have cancer. Sorry, you're having a cancer. Your baby is due July 15th. <laughs> <clears throat> well, the good news, it's not spread. It might be jam or peanut butter. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I see you. No, can you tell me the way to the ICU? <laughs> We've had a look at your x-ray and what we've found might alarm you. Um, there's a big skeleton living in your body. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it's a curvature of the upper spine, but it's just a hunch. <laughs> Good news, Mrs May, we managed to have your tear ducts repaired just in time for your big speech. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the end of the point of time. Oh.